losing. Enemy taking C. Lost C. Hello YouTube, this is World War Black Ops Pro and welcome to Advanced Warfare in Depth. Today I'm going to discuss and show you guys the weapon balancing in this game and how it's pretty broken because I'm going to test assault rifles, LMGs, and SMGs and kind of show you the three hit kill ranges and the damage and kind of compare them because you guys, there's really no point in using any other gun besides AK-12 if you plan on using assault rifles and I'm going to kind of show you that in, in this video. So first off we're going to start with the AK-12. Now the AK-12 kills at five shots at long range and later you can see how it kills at four shots at, at um, close range. So, I mean, it takes fairly low damage, but compared, to, but uh, this, but compared to the other ones, it is better, and you'll see why. Like, so here's the HPR three, so it kills at five shots at long range, but there's really no advantage here since the HPR three has more recoil and a slower rate of fire. So the the AK-12 beats this gun, and then okay, and as you can see, to get a three hit kill, you have to be within a shotgun range, pretty much. So, it's really not, the, most of the time you're going to be dealing damage to that that's going to get you a 4 shot kill. However, let's look at the HPR average show. So this adds damage in range at the cost of 2 handling. So as you see, I got a 4 hit kill versus the five, like a normal 5 hit kill. And right here is about maximum 3 hit kill range. As you saw, it added a little bit of range, but it was nothing, nothing too impressive. So here we got so here we got the Bell 27. Now many guys thought this gun was overpowered. I'm gonna kind of show you why it's not. I mean, it still takes five hits to kill at range, like much like the HBRA3 and the AK12. So it's balanced very similarly. It takes three hits to kill. But that means it has slightly less range than the HBR, as you can see. So you have to be literally within shotgun range to get a kill to get a three hit kill with this gun. So most of the time you're gonna be you're gonna be de dealing damage that takes four hits to kill to kill someone. So. I mean, yeah, it's, it's 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 an okay weapon, but it's it's still not that great. But so here's the carbon; it adds one damage. It's a variant of the, and we're gonna jump to the MK14 because the close range variant didn't really do that much different. It still was three hits to kill. So yeah, this does this this takes two to four shots to kill. This MK14, so it's kind of underpowered, if you ask me. Now it's gonna take three hits to kill if you shoot the limbs. But this gun has multipliers, so if you shoot the if if you shoot the upper body, it will take two hits to kill. So as you can see guys, I'm using the MK14 Eclipse, which is an elite variant, and it's supposed to increase damage. But I haven't really noticed any differences with this weapon. Because even at this range, it doesn't it doesn't take one less shot to kill. So I mean I didn't I didn't even notice that much difference between this gun and the regular variant. So here's ASM1 guys. Take six hits to kill with that range, so that's that's pretty much long range. And then here is three hit kill range, and as you see, that's that's very edge of its three hit kill range. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna actually go into its three hit kill range, and you'll see that this is pretty much twice as long as that of assault rifles, which is pretty un it's unbalanced. Now here's the K5. It can it can do four hits to kill with increased damage, which makes it better than assault rifles at range. But but with regular with its regular shots, it takes six. Okay, and I'm gonna kind of show you its range here. So a little bit further up would be its three-hit kill range, but I'm not really testing that in too in too much detail because of all the var the variables that that come into play with increased damage and yeah, it, it just yeah, there's there's a lot of things you have to take into consideration. So I believe we got a five-hit kill right here, but. Its damage does drop off pretty significantly towards the end of its range. It goes from a 3 to a 5 hit kill pretty quickly. So, here, here's that melee. The first LMG slash heavy weapon that we'll be testing today. And it does take 5 hits to kill at range. So, there's really no advantage to assault rifles there. And then, it does have a slight advantage here because the 3 hit kill range is slightly longer. It's closer to that of the ASM-1. Here is uh, here, here's the XMG-1s. Now, it takes 5 hits to kill at this range. Trust me guys, I do miss a few bullets here and there because of the hip fire. But I count the hit markers. So guys, at this range, we can't even get a, a 3 hit kill. See? 
I mean, we get to be literally like almost point blank. And this is well within shotgun range, guys. So there we go. There we finally get a 3-8 kill. Now, guys, we're going to move on to the, the meat and potatoes variant of the XMGs. And, guys, it's, this is supposed to increase damage, but it actually decreases it to a 4-6 to six hit kill. And as you can see, I'm literally point blank range with these things, and it's a 4-8 kill. So, guys, these variants are absolutely worthless. I would never recommend using them. I mean, they're, they're extremely underpowered, so, yeah, there's no point in using them. So, guys, um, here, here we are back in Black Ops 1. I'm going to show you exactly how a sword rifle balance should be. So, 4 hit kills at long range. And at close range, guys, it should be 3 to kill, as you can see right here. And now we're going to go back to, uh, we're going we're gonna to go back to the, the maximum 3 hit kill range. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how long the 3 hit kill range is in this game and why this game is so balanced. The 3 hit kill range in this game is literally, like, over five times as long as it is in advanced warfare and that's a good thing guys assault rifles could actually do work at ranges and guys here's okay here's the AUG and this is a low damage assault rifle and it still does four sh shots to kill at range and three shots to, three shots to kill a at a range a little shorter than that but uh still still copper now I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the SMGs so, so five hits to kill range the way they should be and the 3 kill range is right here, about maximum 3 kill range. Right around here. And if you move up a little fat further than that, you won't get a 3 kill anymore. But guys, the SMG the SMGs in the game were often overlooked. And but they were actually really good. The balance actually worked. So guys, here's the PM63, which is a low damage SMG. It still does five hits to kill at range. The, the difference between this one and MP5 is that this one takes four hits to kill at, at close range, which is kind of underpowered. But here, here's his maximum four hit kill range. It's similar to the maximum three hit kill range of the MP5K. So now we're gonna move on to the AK74U. Now the AK74U really has a still kills at five hits at range and four right there, and you move up a little bit, and it turns into three. See that so it has very similar range to the mp5k so guys that's how assault rifles should be balanced in advanced warfare and that's how that's how smg should be balanced i mean they're both better than they are in their current state in black ops 1 I mean, they both kill and they kill they kill they take a lot of shots to kill and they just have more range in general and that's how they should be an smg should not outgun an assault rifle in terms of range now guys, I've concluded that there really is no point in using any other gun besides the AK-12 because, you know, if mo at most ranges you're going to be doing 4 hit to kill damage with other guns, you might as well use the AK-12, which excels at that with low, with high rate of fire, low recoil. So guys, just use the AK-12 more often, and I think you guys will, you will enjoy this game much more. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. This has been World at War, and see you guys later.